welcome to the wonderful world with Ryan and go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell above. So today we're going to be talking about the slender tailed meerkat. So this is from a trip that I went on uh, to Utah and I saw these slender tailed meerkats. So they live in uh, the Hogel Zoo. So their class is mammal. Genus is S-U-R-I-C-A-T-A, Suricata. And then species is S-U-R-I-C-A-T-T-A. So you see that extra T is, a, is in there. Now their range as an animal is African Kalahari Desert from um, Angola, Nambia, Botswana, and South Africa. Their habitat is, if you see here, they're in kind of this looks like dirt mound, um, but it's a dry open plain savanna, desert grasslands. Now these, this is what uh, Timon from Lion King was based on. Okay, so characteristics of them are that their coats are silvery brown in color with dark tail, uh, whisk, whisk head. They have dark masking around their eyes, uh, which act as sunglasses, protecting them, allowing them to see better in bright sunlight. Their senses of sight is very keen, and their ear opening can be closed to exclude dirt and dust. When standing on their hind legs, their, their tails act as a brace, creating a tripod for better balance. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Like, everyone likes to have, be a little more balanced every now and again. You see how he's going up and down? Well, anyway, so their behavior is the meerkat is a very active and social animal. It seems, most of the times, searching for food, sunbathing, cleaning itself, and sleeping. They live in grounds of 10 to 20 individuals called mobs. The mobs reside in deep burrow considered communities. Meerkats rarely venture far from their burrow so far uh, so food resources rapidly diminish. That means colonies must migrate often to find a new resource. Within the community, each meerkat has a job. The babysitters stay close to the burrow and protect the young. Hunters dig and find food to bring back to the young until the young are old enough to forage with the family. The sentries keep watch for, protect, uh, for potential predators from a high perching area. So based on those three kind of characteristics, what do you think this guy is? I'm thinking he's a sentinel. But that's just my humble opinion. Now let's talk about their reproduction. So gestation lasts 11 weeks for the small mammals. mammals. Two to four offsprings are born blind and hairless. Other animal meerkats protect the young while the others while the mother leaves to hunt a three week uh, three weeks the young meerkats emerge from the burrow and at two months resemble adults so within about six months they go from being born to being almost fully grown so they weigh about two pounds each and they also um they weigh about two pounds each. Their average lifespan is about seven years in the wild. Their wild diet uh, consists of insects, spiders, snails, rodents, lizards, and bulbs roots of select plants. Predators include birds, prey, jackals, and other carnivorous animals. Now, this is a common animal that you can find in most zoos. This is not an animal that, um, like I've seen it at many zoos, you probably have it at your local zoo. Now, the, if you go to the Hogel Zoo, they don't have a big uh, meerkat population like at the Brooklyn Zoo, or if you go to the San Diego Zoo, they have large populations of 
uh, the meerkat, and they'll give you a different viewpoint, a different spectacle. Now you can you can contact the Hogel Zoo about having um, helping with um, conservation and different other. Um, conservation projects that the Hogel Zoo helps with. Now the reason that we've been started doing the wonderful world of uh, Ryan is so that we can do these fun talks on animals so that we can also see kind of the wonderful things that are happening with animals. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and you can have a great day.